Good morning and welcome back to a new week. I honestly don't even know why I'm vlogging today. I just felt like turning on the camera. I don't have anything planned really for like a theme or lately I've just been like having points and purposes to the video so that it's entertaining and not just me babbling away at a camera with no real purpose. This is the only window of opportunity I will have for a vlog coming up next week. So I hope you guys don't mind. It's just going to be us hanging out, just normal style, just me running errands, talking about makeup. I put my extensions back in. I miss waking up and my hair being easy. I find that all I'm doing with my hair natural is pulling it up because it only looks good for one day. I'm done trying to make it healthy, long, and cute. It's just not in the cards for me. My hair is naturally thin and fine. It was getting on the road to healthy and I do still have my vitamins. So I'm not saying that this is going to be a permanent thing. I might actually be like, oh, no, I, I don't like this and take it back out. Makeup wise, I have on the Charlotte Tilbury foundation again, but I got the three neutral and it is the most perfect color for me. I love it so much. I love this foundation so stinking much. I have now the three and the four. I feel like this is a little excessive. If I were to pick one, I would just go with the three and bronze up when I'm tanning, but this is a tan tone for me and it might work better in the summertime so looks like I have two of them but the good news is I can stop with foundation now that is the one I also just got a new goof proof brow pencil and I've never used this pencil before I've been using the styler is that what it's called so this is the one that has a bit more of an angle and I did have somebody ask about my brows and to update on how I do them. I did shave off a significant amount of my tail here. This thing is disgusting, I'm sorry. And now I'm just doing the smallest little whip at the end and I love the way that looks. So I went in and did a little bit of a shaving here. I lifted the brow up quite a bit. I've got rid of all those strays and I'm no longer doing the bushy brow look. This is my favorite brow on me. And instead of too much of a up down, I'm doing more of a soft curve. I got the Tom Ford foundation. I find it impossible to even come close to this foundation now that I'm so obsessed with it, but there's that word. <laughs> I have to try to stop saying it so much, but I really love Tom Ford. Cutest little sample. The Valentino lipstick. Look at that. So cute. And it's this pinky mauve color and then i got my birthday gift because i haven't I hadn't picked it up yet the pharmacy collection is what i opted for because we have some little mini vacays planned this summer and i wanted to have some travel stuff to try new stuff it's always exciting to take all these with you on your trip because you're like yay new stuff i have the honey halo moisturizer that's what it looks like I have the Honey Potion Plus Hydrating Mask. While you're focused, let me switch through to this. The Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. No smell. None of these things have a smell. <laughs> Very <laughs> uneventful. Today I'm going to be heading to run some errands. I'm taking you guys with me. So I will see you in the car on my way. So all the stuff in my car is essentially all of my clothing racks that I had at the store um, or just upstairs that I don't need anymore. I have everything on permanent hanging racks. And then this is full of hats and sweaters and just like bulky clothes that I didn't want to put into my thrift clothes bundles that I was going to be doing. Um, so. You know what, I need gas. Yeah, I just left dropping everything off with my friend Patty and it was good to see everybody where my store used to be so I got to just say hey to a couple of the folks that I used to see every day for a year. It's sad, I miss it. So much has changed, a lot of, apparently a lot of the people who had stores there have all kind of already moved on and done other things so I'm not the only one who had to change gears. It just, it happens. It does make me feel less guilty because I felt like I, I have this feeling like I'd given up. But anyway, I am off to Target. My car is now empty, so I have room. I need to grab a bunch of plastic bins to pile my clothes into. So Target run, here we come.
basically, I actually saw a girl doing this on TikTok. She had all of her orders in bags and then the bins were labeled and she even had them numbered. She had it was quite the system because this is what she does. This isn't what I do. This is my side thing now. But I'm now doing bundles. So extra large, medium, small. When you buy a bundle, you get anywhere from four to five items per bag and it's all by size. So, and it's also by style. So I have boho bags, I have garden girl, <laughs> all of it. I have it all separated. So this one's cool. I like this bag, this is a good one. You've got a skirt, a pair of Levi's, and a shirt in here that has raccoons all over it. That was the one I got in Portland, and it still has the tags on it. I don't really want to have to deal with the racks and the stock of it all, so I'm going to try to get these all organized into bins, and that way if somebody places an order, I can simply just grab the bag, put it in another bag, because I have these shipping bags, and send them off, and done deal. So... I'll do this if it works and it seems like it's fun and I'm enjoying it, then I'll keep making them. Ideally, the entire point is that I don't want to have thrift clothes anymore. I'm kind of like done with the thrift thing. I think I still want to have makeup and skincare and like candles and stuff on my web shop just for the sake of having stuff. Am I blown out? The light's like really coming in. Yeah, I still want to have stuff for sale on my store and it would be nice to have some vintage. Here's what I got at Target. I bought the cutest dress. I just couldn't, I couldn't resist. It has little, I love it when dresses have straps like this on the shoulder and it's navy blue and white and it looks like just the cutest spring dress and you can wear t-shirts under it i love this i was between this one and one that was like rainbowy pink colors but i know i would wear this way more so i opted for the blue and i just got some dry shampoo this is the super size can the good old faithful blonde and silver conditioner i've used this for ages i usually buy this at sally's but they had it at target and i remembered oh my gosh this stuff works so good if you have blonde hair so back to using the clairol and then i'm gonna try this this is a new brand h hair biology silver and glowing anyway i'm gonna start putting all this stuff in these bins that i got i bought three bins so I did end up putting in a second roll and I was able to get this wall done, finish this wall, that whole wall is done, two of these little whatnots, this wall and that side pop panel. I want to do this wall now. I have another roll on the way. <laughs> Another roll! What if I should just do the ceiling? Do it all! Do the whole room! Who knows? All right, well it is one of those cloudy, mysterious evenings. I just was able to get in a quick lawn mowing which is always nice fresh cut grass is probably one of my favorite things about spring getting the grass to look nice and soft and plush but i wanted to do a garden update these guys are still going strong and my pink gardeners surprise have come in and they're bright pink how beautiful Anyway, the pocketbook plant got completely demolished by the dogs and it was really tall so it kept tipping over and uh, yeah, it was not, it was not happy. It died very fast. Hello! But everybody else over here, they all seem to be doing pretty okay. As soon as I planted them, the following morning we got a frosty snow. So I was like, yeah, of course, but very excited about these guys. Anyway, that'll be it for now. Probably gonna close this out. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hello everybody and welcome to the next day. Hello Hunter. Did you want to say hello? Did you want to say hello? <laughs> He's my little buddy. All the other dogs are downstairs. I need to go down and feed them all. The husband has left to go work a late shift. They do these things called shutdowns in the world of uh, commercial electricians. And occasionally he has to work at night because the business that they're shutting down is usually like, you know, it could be anywhere from like an airport to a hospital, something that during the day has to be functioning. And so at night they go in and they shut everything down and then they work with wires. <laughs> It's the best way that I could describe it, but he doesn't do them very often, but when he does, I hate it because I, of course, worry about him and I don't sleep very well. I worry all night long just 
it's late for him to work through the night with no sleep you know what i mean but he took it pretty easy today actually all day we just really relaxed so we just laid on the couch we had on tv shows and movies and the dogs were napping we closed the blinds so that they didn't bark at everything and it was really cozy i had planned on you know just doing a lot of video stuff today so I figured, well, I'll just do it at night when he's gone. It'll keep me busy. I'm gonna come up here and go through all of my vintage or my spring dresses, I guess. I thought it would be kind of fun to just like look at some of the spring dresses, style it, see what clothes would be cute with it, and just get excited for the season. And then I'm also just shooting some like reels and stuff while I'm at it because I'm gonna have my lights set up. Also, my final roll of wallpaper came, but you guys saw me wallpaper. You don't need to see it again. So I'll get around to that possibly tonight, depending on how much of this uh, video stuff I do. I just filmed a short with all of these hats with different lip colors. I just thought it would be kind of fun to do a short where it's just like the color changes and the lip color changes and it matches with each other. I thought that would be kind of fun. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to do more shorts because I know that they are a great way to grow your channel. And I feel like right now I'm kind of starting to feel a little momentum going with my channel. So uh, if you're new here, hello and welcome. I have a lot of new subscribers because I did a promotion and I had never done one before. They have a new feature on YouTube now where it's very easy to just hit a button and promote a video for however many days you want to promote it. I did mine for like four and it brought a new group of people to me. So hello and welcome. So anyway, uh, let's go downstairs and feed these pupper dogs and um, reconvene. The only time you'll see this one running is if he thinks he's about to get fed. This is Peanut. You guys, if you're new here, uh, you'll probably not know why I have so many dogs. I am I'm a part-time puppy hotel and I started doing that around lockdown and then I just kept doing it because you get really attached to these little guys and these guys have been coming to me since the beginning of me being a pet sitter, so, or a puppy hotel. Peanut and Tony are obviously dachshunds, short hair and long hair, and they're both seniors. I think Tony is 16 and Peanut might be 14 or 15. And then we've got Hunter back here and I've been watching him since he was one year old. I think he's uh, maybe two and a half. Oh, right. some happy puppies. Is there no greater feeling than the kitchen being freshly cleaned and wiped down? Dishwasher is going, it's humming, the sun is setting over the kitchen. There's a light drizzle out the window and everything smells clean and beautiful. And then Tony takes a giant shit on the carpet. <laughs> Did he just wink at me? I saw that. I know he feels very bad, but Tony, that stunk. <laughs> Sir? They're only diapered for precautionary reasons because I will be upstairs, but they're really good about not peeing in the house. But when they do, it's gallons. So, senior dog life, right? Am I right? You're forgiven, Tony. I just lit incense, sprayed the house with air refresher. Makes the whole house smell like Christmas time. And some incense going. <laughs> It smells so bad, but look how lovely and cozy the house looks. Oh, I just want to like watch TV all night. I actually can't remember if I've shown these to you guys yet. We got the swan neck lights to illuminate our artwork, but the artwork is being shipped from New Zealand, so we're waiting for it to get here. And then this is called a wall pocket. It is by a carpenter on Etsy. Her name is Carpenter Katie, and she makes these lovely wood pockets and stains them whatever color you want. So we had her custom stain it to, well, we chose the color and it's the color that matches all of our furniture. And then you can put whatever dried flower arrangement you want in it, like a little wall vase, but she calls them wall pockets. I thought it was the most unique idea and such a great way to pardon the <laughs> walking footstool over here. That's what her mom said that her friend called him. I was like, don't listen to them, Peanut. You're not a footstool. Well, that was perfect timing. My package came. I thought this was lost in the mail. <laughs> I was not expecting to get this today, but it sure does 
help me out here when I'm trying to do a spring outfit real or short or whatever you want to call it short video I got a pair of Levi overalls because I really wanted overalls I don't know that I want to garden in them just yet because they'll just get so filthy uh, overalls are like the perfect gardening thing aren't they I need to find some thrifting they're really hard to find thrifting believe it or not so light blue Levi really cool light colored flare legged overalls yay I cannot wait to style these and try them on in a recent blog post I talked about styling purple leggings or styling lilac for spring and in that post I had mentioned that I was looking for the most perfect purple skirt and this is not it shoot I wanted corduroy this is velvet well <laughs> It's still nice, it's purple velvet, but velvet isn't, this to me reads more winter. It's cute, it's a cute color. All right, so here is my first outfit with the purple skirt. It does fit, which is great. It's really tight and really short, so I still haven't decided if I wanna keep it. I don't really have a mini skirt like this, so it would be nice to have a velvet purple mini skirt, but it's mini. <laughs> So as you can see in the full frame here, I have on my Louboutin ballet cage flats. Yes, <laughs> love these shoes. My only qualm about these shoes is they fart when you walk. You hear that? I'm not even trying. <laughs> it's the most embarrassing sound. So you have to wear leggings with it. But overall, I really like the outfit, a uh, little purple velvety skirt and here's the skirt without the blazer so as you can see it's not too bad i haven't worn a mini in a really long time like i used to wear mini skirts to work when i used to bartend duh <laughs> tips <laughs> i guess it's just I'm, I'm a little out of my element i like it because it shows off my tattoos i do like to wear short skirts because i do like my legs but this is like another level <laughs> like the whole time i would just be pulling on it Anyway, there's the skirt. I haven't taken the tags off yet because I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it. But now I'm going to do a little reel in this skirt. And here are the overalls. Oh my gosh, they're so cute, you guys. I'm gonna I'm putting a little like thing here of me wearing them, but these are so cute. They fit really well. They fit almost like a jean, so they're kind of like, you know, around the waist and the butt. They fit like a jean, but then they have the bib, so it's not like the bigger oversized overall fit which I really like and I feel like over time they're just gonna get more comfortable I think even a bathing suit top underneath or a crop top would be really cute okay, so I'm gonna show you guys one more outfit since I didn't realize this was coming today I was gonna show you a bunch of vintage that I have I don't have like a whole heck of a lot of vintage that you haven't already seen I always do unboxings with you guys but I was thinking of just showing you one of my favorites but styled in a unique way so we'll do that and then move on from here this this you guys this is a vintage dress that i got thrifting and i had never put it on and styled it with you guys i actually had it at the store on the mannequin for the longest time it's very dorothy and i love that and i think it would be a fun challenge to try to style this in a way that makes it look more modern and something that i would actually wear out and about so we're going to attempt to style the Dorothy dress. So here's the completed outfit. I love this so much. I This is the kind of stuff that gives me a thrill, like finding a piece of clothing that's a little weird, maybe even some people might call ugly and try to make it current or something that makes sense in this day and time and age. So I love this so much. To explain the outfit, I took a paper bag waist skirt and I put it underneath the dress to give it a little bit of extra length because it was kind of short. Also to give the skirt more fullness. And the paper bag waist skirt actually came with this belt. So I thought tying that around the waist would tie it all together. For the shoes, I thought light brown suede Ugg ballet flat. These are my favorite for spring because they have fur lining. So they're really warm on the foot, but they also look really nice. Then a matching beret just to keep my head warm, but they're not too hot. For the lipstick, I thought 
an orange lipstick would actually look really nice with this. So I tossed on the YSL number 82 and these are the Volup Shine lipsticks. So they're not matte and they're not too satin. They're right in between with a nice glowy lip. And I thought orange, something to throw it off a little bit, but still looks really great. Finally, one more little wild card, light baby blue crossbody Kate Spade purse with it. This is one that is like a wallet purse, so it's really small, but it's great for running errands out and about. I think this is the kind of outfit that I would love to go to a coffee shop in, to a bakery, maybe go thrifting. I love dressing up when I go thrifting. It's one of my greatest hobbies in life is putting on a adorable outfit and going antiquing and thrifting. That's what I live for. So anyway, that is my little outfit corner here that we're gonna have together tonight. Now I'm gonna go downstairs and make myself a snack and do a mask on my face. I'm gonna put on something really comfortable, taking you with me, and then we're gonna close this video out. We're gonna be done, because that's all I've got. All right, well, I've got the baby poo mask on. <laughs> the mask of magnanimity. This is the power mask. I'm doing this, and then I made popcorn as well. So it's really just, me trying to not miss my husband and <laughs> just be cozy and watch RuPaul's Drag Race. So I'm gonna get all that set up and ready and we're gonna just close her out now. So that is it. Yes, I'm gonna end this video with me looking like this. Uh, I hope you guys had fun with me and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, please do. And so I'll see you guys on the next video, whatever it's gonna be. I have no idea. Bye.